my English teacher probably would have told me. She was like the craziest like old lady I've ever met in my life. Like she would just like dance like randomly. <laughs> it was random. Anyways, Executor, let's hope you can do something to this Mr. Mime. You could talk. You know what? Toxic is probably my best bet. All right. Up. Susan says my toss too. So it's it's trying to stall me out too. But I have a lot of health. So it's gonna take like roughly like a couple. Like, I want to say like I don't know. It's gonna take a couple seismic toss to take me down, and hopefully in that time, uh, that poison will start ranking up, and you know, I'll die before the Mr. Mime does. So let's just hope. Yep, you kept using seismic toss. I'm actually gonna use Mega Drain, and that's actually not a bad strategy. Using Mega Drain and poison to try and just survive as long as possible. Yeah, Mega Drain. I don't know if Barrage would do anything, because I don't think Barrage is that great of a move, to be honest. Oh wow, that actually did a decent amount of damage. Cool. Alright, so, just same strategy I was using before. Huh, oh crap, it's gonna switch. Eh, yeah, curse you! Because you know when you switch out, poison the uh, poison damage resets. Oh good, it goes back to Dugong. Well, that's actually gonna benefit me. Oh crap, this Dugong has Ice Beam. Crap. Crap. Crap, I am screwed. Huh, okay, well, you know, I took a decent amount of health from it, so that's not bad. I actually go to um, Starmie, though, because I'm fairly certain that it's gonna use an Ice Beam. And that won't do anything to star me, so. And that can just retaliate with a thunder, so. So, so, so. Man, I have the. Have you ever noticed that? Like, okay, I don't know if you, like, record your voice or anything. I always notice, like, I go, whatever, anyways, yeah, so. Like, when I can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah not very effective, but hit, got a critical hit. That kind of annoys me. Anyways, a thunder, if it doesn't miss, should take out this dugong, and then Mr. Mine will be the only Pokemon left, so. It missed. Best day of my life. Please don't paralyze me. Please don't paralyze me. Please don't paralyze me. Oh my goodness, why does it keep paralyzing me? That is so annoying. Gosh. Ugh. Man, it's so annoying. Okay, maybe this body slam will miss or something. Uh, nope. Definitely hit me. Okay, don't get fully paralyzed. Okay, good. Use thunder. And hit them. Please. Please. Please, Mr. Starmie. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, I got a critical hit. <sighs> okay, and I'm spazzing out. It's probably because I'm so dang hungry. Gosh. Okay, only one Pokemon in reserve. And it's totally going to kill Stormy. But that's okay, because I'll get poison damage. So it doesn't matter. And then Execute can come in and finish off this, uh, this guy. So Maybe he'll miss with something. No, I'm, I'm yeah, he's going to use Psychic. <laughs> if I was him, I'd use Psychic too. So. But, you know, not very effective. You know, Stormy... Did his job. He took down uh, that. He took down Dugong, right? Yeah. Um, oh, you didn't get poison damage. Dang it! I forgot that. Once, you, if you knock someone out, you don't get recoil damage or poison damage. They need to fix that, or they did fix that. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But that guy has 17 health and he's poisoned. And I have 40 set, 45. <laughs> no, I said 47. So Mega Drain. It's just that's basically my strategy. Why are you using Psychic against me? I'm a Psychic type. You crazy man. You crazy. It's not very effective. What are you? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? And yeah, the psychic, I mean, the poison damage is gonna slowly build up. I mean, I am parched and hungry, and this is, this is, I need to stop complaining, that's why I, I need to stop doing. But yeah, pretty much no matter what, it's gonna die from poison next turn, so I could, I could just pick my nose and win. Which isn't a bad idea. <laughs> uh, I was kind of scared, of like, it's gonna get a critical special defense drop, oh my gosh! Anyways, Mega Drain. Bye bye. Bye bye, mime. No, my mimes. How do you even say that? Huh. And there goes the battle. Probably the one I feared the most, except for the next one, because it is a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt, guys. Pain in the butt. So yeah, last you're no, you're no more. And now we're about to fight the final trainer of the Peak Cup, and you're about to be in shock and awe of his power. We're fighting a fisherman. Oh crap! Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry, guys. I do. Um, actually lost that fight, and uh, there's an interruption, so I had to. Yeah, it was a good thing I died, so I can restart. Okay. So, like I was saying, that guy's a jerk. I'm gonna use Raticate first because he has Ice Beam. Um, I actually switched my team around because I got my butt handed me. I'm use Kadabra because he's important, and you know what? Execute. You've been actually pretty darn good in this whole cup. I'm gonna use Pinsir. Just because, whatever. Okay, let's hope he uses Dragonair first, because I'm kind of counting on that. 
So Raticate can hopefully just take him out with a nice beam. Up, oh, yeah, he does. All right, cool. So, yeah, like I'm saying, Dragon Rage, really overpowered attack. He shouldn't even have it. But the good thing is he can't take me out in one hit. Oh, sweet, it's raining. Oh, huh, that's cool. Huh, I don't know about you guys, but I like the rain. Am I the only person that does? Oh, sweet, critical hit, super effective four times. Oh, my gosh. That doesn't even kill it. That's that's really not fair, to be honest. It's kind of jerkish. Yeah, that's going to leave me with exactly five health. No, I'm not happy about that, Mr. Dragon Dragonator. I uh, almost get mixed up. Huh. Anyways, if this next Ice Beam doesn't miss, we uh, should take down this Dragonair. And wow, two critical hits in a row. Jerk. Ugh, man. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the least... Of, that, was, like, that, was, that was the thing I was worried about the most with this guy. Because the rest of his team, to be honest, not that big of a deal. And yeah, he's Broster. Or Broish. Whatever. Um, that's a hard decision. Do I use Toxic or Hyperfang? You know what? Screw it, Hyperfang. Because I really don't think Toxic's that big of a deal. Or this, this let's let's face it, this slow bro is not gonna be for eh, not gonna be here for very long. Oh, oh, sweet, he flinched. All right, cool. Way to go, Raticate. Being a boss over there, with, you're, you're sniffing for more prey. You know, you're, you're always hungry. You want to bite things. Because you're Raticate. Let's face it. And another decent hit. If he gets flinched again, that would be awesome. Oh my gosh, I have the best luck in the world. Huh. Oh, whoops, I think I accidentally hit Toxic. Oh yeah, I did. Oh crap. Oh well. Eh. It's okay, I guess. He was gonna, he was gonna take me out eventually. I couldn't, I couldn't get three um flinches in a row now, could I? That'd be cheap. Even though there's, there's actually something in Pokemon Stadium 2 that lets you abuse that, if I remember correctly. But, eh, whatever. Okay, so... Pinsir or Kadabra. Hard decision. I'm going into Pinsir. Because I feel like he's going to be more useful. I could have sworn I put Starmie on this team, though. Well, I guess I didn't. Yeah, Pinsir, come on. Just just do something, Pinsir. Okay, so he's going to resist submission. So let's try takedown. If I remember correctly, uh, Slowbro has actually really good normal defense. So I don't know what's going to happen. Come on, do some pretty good damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's actually... That pleases me, Mr. Pinsir. That pleases me. And as long as this psychic doesn't get a critical hit and take you <laughs> critical hit on a slow bro. Uh, if you don't know, um, in Generation One, how you get critical hits is based on how fast you are. So, uh, slow bro getting critical hits is kind of unlikely. Yeah, another takedown. That'll take you down. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, hey, are you dead too? Oh dang, we both dead. Oh snap! And down goes Broish, because he, he, he's kind of a bro, but he's not bro. He's not totally broish, you know. Anyways, last dude is uh, Clefable, which I will gladly take down with a submission. And hopefully we can beat Pika Cup. The cup I've never beaten once in my life. And that'll make me happy. So yeah, submission. Come on, do some pretty good damage. Uh, eh, did alright damage. I'm pretty sure that uh, Fablish going to take me down, though. Oh, gosh, that's yes, Thunderbolt. Eh, I don't know how I feel. Oh, wait, my last guy's Kadabra. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure Kadabra can do 21 damage to a Clefable. But if he doesn't, I'm basically screwed. So, eh, whatever. This is the most glamorous way to beat the Pika Cup, I know, but it's a pretty hard cup, to be honest. Or maybe I've just picked stupid Pokemon. I can't decide, to be honest. Because I'm pretty dumb when choosing Pokemon and stuff like that. Yeah, Psychic. Come on, knock him out. Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out! Okay, come on, come on, Mr. Raccoon Spoon Master. Oh my gosh, that was the best nickname I've ever made. Raccoon Spoon Master. Holy crud. Dude, that's awesome. I gotta register that email address right now. Holy crap. Man, way to go, Raccoon Spoon Master. You're awesome. But yeah, bye-bye cheap fisherman that just uses the just Dragon Rage, which is overpowered. And yeah, that's Pika Cup. Uh, there's only one version of Pika Cup. You don't got to do it uh, multiple times like the uh, Prime Cup and the Poke Cup. So yeah, thank goodness we never have to do that again. And since that's the last cup, we're getting a nice little roll call of our Pokemon we used. Yeah, Kadabra being there with his cool feet. Pinsir, you know, he, he Pinsir is actually pretty useful in this fight. I'm not going to lie. Execute being a, just, just an awesome guy, you know. He's just stalled people. And Storm using Thunder, pretty pretty useful. Dragonair didn't do, or Dratini didn't do crap. I don't think I used him one time. And yes, I like the trophy we get here. It actually looks like a trophy. So yeah, 
That's Pika Cup. Anyways, guys, I've been recording for an hour and 30 minutes. So, you know what? I'll see you in the next video when we, uh... I think we're gonna go challenge Erica. So, uh, I'll see you then.